Hello. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? We hope you had a great week. Our unit theme for May is the Bible, God's Word. And our unit Bible verse for May is Psalm chapter 119, verse 160. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Let's say it together. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Psalm 119. 160. Today, we're going to talk about people in the Bible who are so happy to hear God's word that they gathered together early in the morning and they stood up for six hours listening to a scribe read it. If you don't know what a scribe is, back in Bible days, a scribe was a person who hand wrote copies of documents and were teachers, excuse me, of the Jewish law. Before we get into our lesson, though, let's pray. Join me in prayer, please. I do, and Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for your word and what it means, Lord. We just uh, ask you to help us be more like the people we're going to study today, Lord, that we'd want to stand up to listen to your word for just hours and just soak into you and get to know you better. Help us to uh, take today's lesson to apply it to our lives so that the things we do and the things we say will be more like you and other people will know about you because of us. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Well, last week we just uh, talked a bit about some books. We didn't do an activity, but this week we do have an activity for you, and I hope you'll be able to enjoy it. We're going to make tiny journals. Now, what is a journal? Well, it's a book that people can write in, and they put their thoughts and feelings or notes that inspire them. Some people can write prayers in their journal and things like that. Miss Kim has her journal, journal, a journal. here. I actually journal. have a couple. But this is one that she yeah. brought with I her write to show some you. Stuff yeah. in it. She writes in her journal every day. Mm -hmm. So our tiny journal instruction sheet is here. And we're going to do this together now. We'll include the instructions in the Facebook comments with the activities and color sheets. All right. So all you need is a piece of paper. You can use construction paper, plain paper, um, you can cut it to a square like they have here, or if you just want to leave it regular, you can do that too. And the first thing you do is you fold it in half this way. Oops. And hmm, I didn't do a very good job, but we're going to keep on going <laughs> and fold it in half this way, but then you unfold it. And then you have kind of a cross. Well, then you fold each side to the middle. If you can see that. And again, you're going to unfold it. And Make then you're going to do the same thing at the top and the bottom. And the reason you're doing all these folds is like Mr. Mike said, to make lines that you can see. Because in just a second, we're getting ready to cut it. So, so get your parents' permission to help that's you. That's right. You, you'll need your parents' help probably to use the scissors to cut it. Um, and you see, we did all the made all of our lines, and now we're going to cut in a spiral pattern. But you don't want to cut all the way through. Just cut in a spiral, Ooh. and then we're going to have another fun part. Okay. After cut in a spiral, I actually. To me, it kind of looks like a square snail shell. Yeah, it's like a snail. <laughs> I like snails, they're cool. And, whoops. Gotta be I careful. A, yeah, I used a longer pair of scissors last night when I was trying this out for the first time. Wow. All right, so. Cut Am just, I done? You're done, I think. Uh, just like these lines here. She's cut them. Show okay, them. so yeah. then after you're done, all those together. lines that you made, yeah. you fall back and forth. If you've ever made a fan, you know, to kind of fan yourself off and you fold back and forth and it's like an accordion. If 
you don't know what an accordion is, look it up. Ask your parents. And you fold back and forth and back and forth like this. And then eventually it will make kind of a little hook. And am I doing this right? Yes. It'll be your, go. It looks going to be your handy dandy and, notebook. And yours will probably look better than mine. Mine looks kind of odd. But you can write on the front and the back of the pages, all sideways and whatever. And if you want to, you can cut a piece of string to kind of hold your little accordion folded journal together like that. I like it. <laughs> it's very neat. So, as we've already heard, we're going to be learning today about how God's people were happy to hear God's word. The scribe who read it was Ezra. And we're going to find out more about him. We're learning from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verses 1 through 12. I believe I have that right here. Right there. There you go. All the Israelite people gathered together, including the men, women, and older children. They asked the scribe Ezra to bring the book of the law that God had given Moses for Israel. Ezra stood on a high platform. As he opened the book, the people stood up. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people raised their hands to God and said, Amen! Amen! Amen. Then the people knelt low and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Ezra read the words of the book where everyone could see him. He read from the first light of day until noon. The Levites explained the law to the people so that everyone could understand. As the people heard and understood the meaning, they were sad and began to cry. Nehemiah the governor, Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who were teaching the people told them, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad or cry. Go and eat good food, drink what is sweet, and share with those who have nothing. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The people obeyed. They ate, drank, and shared in a great celebration because they understood the words the Levites explained to them. Can you imagine standing up outside for six hours to listen to the Bible being read? Many people today don't even like to be in church for about an hour. But these people stood up for six. They truly respected God's word. You know, the book of the law that our lesson talks about is part of the Bible. In fact, the first five books of the Bible are books of law. And if Mr. Mike doesn't mind handing me a Bible, we'll take a look at those. So if you have a Bible at home... You can go to your table of contents. It's hard to turn the page. And look, the first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Those are books of the law. Now, I'm pretty sure Ezra didn't read all of all five of those books because that's a lot. But they were there for six hours. So I'm sure he read a whole lot. But remember that their scriptures didn't look like our Bible either. Um, they were scrolls. Remember we made scrolls we made a few scrolls, weeks ago? Yeah, a few mm -hmm. weeks ago. And they were, the scrolls were written by people that God chose. Scribes, like Ezra, would copy them so that other temples could have copies of them. Like we have, I mean, Mr. Mike has three Bibles open here, and there's another one over here to my left. You know, our churches nowadays have a bunch of Bibles, but we also have copy machines and printing presses. Um, Mr. Mike, show us your Bible app on your phone. Oh, we yeah. have all kinds of things. I can bring that up real fast. Of course, they didn't have that back in Bible days. So people actually had to sit down and copy the words that God had told somebody else to write. There we are. I've got my Bible out up, but I just pulled up John 3. That's right. So our verse for the week lets us know that we should praise God for giving us his law. 
Psalm chapter 119, verse 171. If Mr. Mike would show it to us. 119. Verse 171. 171. That's this one. <laughs> like I said, we have a lot of Bibles here. It says, My lips pour out praise, for you teach me your statutes. So what are statutes? Well, they're rules or laws. Let's say our verse together. My lips pour out praise, for you teach me your statutes. Psalm 119-171. Okay, let's take a look at our activity pages for this week. The first through third graders, you got your uh, paper and a pencil because we're having a pop quiz. No, it's not like school. It's a little different. And you also enjoy uh, favorites. That's right. So for our pop quiz, we just have um, a few questions that you can actually find out from rereading our story on the back about Ezra. And then, depending on which answer is the right answer, after you find the right answer, you write the letter that goes with it down in here. And then you can finish that sentence. And under favorites, it wants you to think about what's your favorite Bible verse and what's your favorite Bible story. All right, and then for our fourth through sixth graders, uh, you're going to do what's the buzz? What's and that's the because buzz? we've got a few insects hanging out on there. <laughs> and I'll check it out for you racing fans. All right, so what's the buzz? Why were Ezra and the people worshiping God in Jerusalem? Put the bugs and creepy crawlies in alphabetical order. Then follow the ABC order of the bugs and read the statements. So you got to figure out what all these things are and then put them in alphabetical order. Mm. So that should be interesting. And then it will, will tell you what had happened. And I'll check her out. It says, after you've checked out these Bible verses, circle the flag or the flags that fit them best. And so the black and white checkered flag says, hey, that's something to learn about God. And the red and white checkered flag says, wow, that's a reason to worship God. And so if the verse fits both, mm -hmm. you do both. Oh, and looks like I forgot something. We also have speedy a speedy scramble. scramble here. Unscramble this word that means to show love, honor, and respect for God. Right, and we also have our coloring sheet of Ezra reading the books of the law. And this week, our Live It Out section asks you and your families to stand and honor as you read our lesson about Ezra in Nehemiah 8, 1 through 12. All right, so the people in Ezra's time stood because they were happy to hear God's law and they wanted to show honor and respect. Some of the people were hearing it for the first time. Like our lesson taught us, they cried when they began to understand mm -hmm. what God was saying. We don't know why they cried at first. Maybe they were sad because they knew that they had sinned and they were upset. Like last week's lesson. That's true. Maybe there were tears of joy because they were finally getting to hear and understand God's word. But when Ezra and the Levites told them that they should celebrate, they celebrated with great joy because they learned more about God and his love. Maybe from now on when we sit in church, kids and adults alike, because sometimes adults get fidgety too, maybe we could listen with joy to God's word because we learn more about him and his love for us. Let's pray. Join me in prayer. Our dear Father, we just thank you for this day, and we thank you for all the many blessings you give us. We thank you for the joy that you give us, Lord, and we just ask that when we study your word, Lord, that we will realize how you uh, did it and wrote it to show, tell us how you love us, and we'll have joy because of that. Please uh, be of our church, Lord, be of Pastor Charlie as he's bringing the message today. Be of all the uh, graduates, Lord, we just ask you to bless them and help them make wise decisions with the next steps they're taking in their lives, and be of them and their families as they're celebrating. Be of all those on the prayer list, Lord, we ask you to touch each and every one. 
Be with us, Lord, as we uh, go from this place, Lord, and help us to take this lesson and apply it to our lives so we can live more like you. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week, guys. See you next week. Bye.